Now, Kargil is a very interesting uh, example because it came uh, too close uh, on the heels of the uh, nuclear test by India and Pakistan. And uh, I am convinced, uh, the many people may not agree with me, but I am convinced that neither side had absorbed the lessons of nuclearization. And uh, uh, particularly on the Pakistani side, uh, uh, had they realized that the situation has changed qualitatively, probably that uh, um, operation may not have been launched. Uh, some people uh, tried to say that uh, they, it was launched because uh, the planners of Kargil thought that now under the nuclear overhang they have a uh, uh, window of opportunity where they can do something and India will not be able to escalate. I think that was not the case. Uh, that kind of understanding was not there. Uh, it was already planned, it was conducted and people later on realized that uh, it is going to have serious repercussions and particularly uh, it had very negative uh, impact on Pakistan's uh, foreign relations and uh, uh, generally the international community uh, put a lot of pressure on Pakistan. Uh, at that time, uh, uh, even the nuclear angle was not there because the operational uh, state of operationalization of the uh, capa nuclear capabilities were at a very, very, uh, the, I would say, basic stage. Even the uh, delivery systems were not mature enough. It was during the Kargil crisis in April 99 that India carried out the second test of Agni 2 missile and Pakistan carried out the second test of Ghori and the first test of Shaheen 1. So by then, not even these systems were inducted into the strategic forces. So uh, that capability, operational capability was not there at all. So it was premature. I think uh, at the end of the day, if you analyze the Kargil, I think it was a success of deterrence. Why? Because uh, knowing the fact that uh, uh, the nuclear uh, capabilities were there, Indians decided to confine their response to the uh, Kargil sector alone. They did not expand the conflict uh, all along the line of control or across the international border. And once Indian Air Force go got involved, uh, Pakistan did not let its Air Force uh, uh, take part in this because if both Air Forces had entangled, then uh, th th there could have been uh, possibilities of escalation. So both sides uh, uh, restricted their options uh, voluntarily to avoid confrontation and I think that was a very clear-cut effect of nuclear deterrence because the, 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 they modulated and moderated their responses.